Thank you to our sponsor for curating this collection. Let's score art based on 14 qualities. Use our 9-point scale to score how clear and smart each quality is used. Reply 1, 2, or 3 for low quality. Use 4, 5, or 6 for OK quality. And 7, 8, or 9 for high quality. So now, let's score this art. Welcome back to this art score. So let's just jump into it. I'm really digging this painting. I call it a painting, but it's digital painting. So let's take a look at the color real quick. I like the use of color. I do see that the artist has uh, control over the color. They're being intelligent with the palette. Primarily, and I see this in a lot of anime work, for the most part, like a, almost like a monochromatic feel to their palette. Obviously, it's not fully true. There's a little bit of blue. There's, you can see some red in there. Primarily, blue and red mixed together is purple, and now you have a purple, red, violet type of palette and I just wish there was maybe like a red orange or maybe like a yellow orange in there to juxtapose that all that purple and I see that happen a lot in anime style where artwork is almost monochromatic feeling uh, with one or one color or very similar color added to it but there is never that dragon's eye that that soloist that actually activates all the colors i would say that they have control over color they're thinking intelligently about the color and so i put it at a seven but it could be an eight or a nine if they expanded uh their palette with at least one other color to juxtapose what is primarily there now, the values are extremely well. You can see down in the corner, the black and white, the gray, the, uh, the unsaturated image of it. The artist is using the, at a macro level, the values extremely intelligent. I love the silhouette of the head against the light in the background along the right edge or left edge. You can see that there's a dark element there, but the background is also dark. And so therefore your eye as it moves through that area, it doesn't get trapped in there, even though it has a big object over in that area. The movement in this image is incredible. It has this beautiful figure eight movement going through it, almost metamorphosizing into a butterfly. The artist is using incredible enclosures these circles that are radiating through the image and also using a radiating point. If you look at these objects that are, I don't know if they're exploding off of her or coming at her, but the angles that those sections make up, they all pull back to her. And so there's just a lot of intelligence in terms of the design, the layout, the composition of this piece. Beautifully done, beautifully done. And with that, that figure eight, there's this beautiful symmetrical design that's going through. Uh, you have the curves up top, you have the curves on the bottom going in different directions. You have the figure eight that's going through. She cuts through the center. The figure eight ex exploding of her outfit. It comes on that long, sinister diagonal that goes from the top left to the bottom right. It's really, really done very, very well. And then harmony, as my eye goes around the image, it comes back into the center. There are some points where my eye gets, it, it kind of hits a little brick wall, but when it does that, it's in intelligent places. For example, as my eye comes down along the bottom, it, it really does hit her feet hard, but it makes sense because the artist wants us to go back up, which is center of the story. Our eye goes up and around and then kind of shoots back again towards her. So he's controlling the eye extremely well, moving it the way the artist wants us to see it. And we're having a really cool experience through this image. So I do rate this a very high image at a 90%. Now there is no signature there, so it's only out of 117 points, but I give it a 105, which comes out to Special a 90%. Special thanks to our companions very, very of art and culture. Great. Thank you for sponsoring this video and helping us nourish many more souls with art.